There's little glory or glamour on the gridiron for a fullback. Just a whole lot of time in the trenches. I'm the protector for the running back, protecting the, either the quarterback or the running back or whoever has the ball. He's so mean on that football field. He's got some football field manners, let's say, that I'm glad I don't hear. Illinois sophomore fullback Jay Prosh developed his football manners as a young boy growing up in Mobile, Alabama with three older sisters. Jay was a rambunctious little boy, but he was a big boy. I remember thinking when I was young I was invincible because I would just go out and, you know, jump off trees and, you know, do crazy things. I was always, you know, more toned and uh, muscular compared to my friends. In second grade, Jay's fearless behavior resulted in injury. Well, he was playing in the playground and he fell. His arm was broken. They took him in, they did surgery, and the surgeon is the one that talked to us about how much muscle fiber Jay had. And that at some point when he got old enough to really lift heavy weights, that he would have the potential to be really strong. Jay fulfilled that potential. By the time he was a senior in high school, Prosh caught the eye of a few SEC schools, but accepted a scholarship to play football at Illinois. I don't think I've ever screamed so much in my life. It is so exciting to see your child run out on that field. Prosh saw action in every game as a freshman. But this past spring, as the Illini were to begin spring practice, Jay received a call from his sister. Julia, you know, just told me that they found a tumor basically inside mom's uh, head. And I was just, I really didn't know like, how to feel or what to think. He didn't have a choice. Uh, he had to go home. And, and uh, I said, Jay, you, you go home, you do what you gotta do. Uh, don't worry about football. Jay left school and spring practice to be with his mother, Iris, who on April 5th underwent a two and a half hour surgery to have the brain tumor removed. First time I got a saw her was walking to the hospital room after her surgery. And it was just a really emotional time for um, us, the family, you know. And I really didn't know what to say or um, what, you know, what to say to her. So I, you know, I just gave her a hug and then um, you know, we talked and cried a little bit. There's nothing that grips a mother's heart stronger than to see their child cry. You know, they're... I know boys cry, but it just, when, when it's yours and they come walking in, it just, just kind of just, it guts you. In May, Iris traveled to Duke University Hospital, where after a second surgery, she began chemotherapy treatments with Jay and his sisters at her side. Uh, basically, you know, I leaned a lot on my sisters and, you know, they leaned on me. We stayed in the hospital all day, basically, and we'd go home and uh, sleep. And uh, after the surgery, we had to take turns sleeping at, at the hospital with her. It was everything. I mean, it just makes you feel like you've got such support and such love. At the end of May, Jay faced a decision. Stay with his mom or return to Champaign for summer conditioning. She wanted me to go back. She was telling me to go back. Jay has worked really hard at something, which is football. I just said, you need to come make me proud, because that's what I want you to do. Guys um, on the team are, you know, they're like my brothers. When I got back, you know, they all you know, told me they were praying for me and uh, with me. So, you know, that made it easy. Jay's a, he's part of the family. And, and uh, when your family member comes back, everybody puts your arm around him and lets him know that, hey, we care. As his mother continued to fight her cancer, Jay moved into a starting role in week three. Ford the carry, and Ford's gonna walk in for the touchdown! Then, in early October, Iris attended her first game of the season, watching the boy she once knew play like the man he is. Tear jerking. I mean, I, I was so choked up that I, I couldn't scream and yell and jump up and down like I usually do. I just was just choked up just to see him. Congratulations. When you see that, you know for certain that you've done something right. <laughs>